2022 micro micro um, question number three this is set two by the way set two question number three 2022 micro all right the graph provided shows the demand long run average total cost marginal cost and marginal revenue for a natural monopoly over the output range of 0 to 60, is the firm experiencing economies of scale, diseconomies of scale, or constant returns to scale explained? Uh, we should recognize that from 0 to 60, the average total cost curve, the long-run average total cost, is decreasing. It's falling. So if we remember back to output and cost questions, we had a long-run average total cost that we understood. This is our output down here, right? We recognize that we have three sections here that we have to know. We have a downward sloping section, which is the economies of scale. This is the constant section thought of as flat, doesn't change. And this is the diseconomies of scale. Costs are going up as we produce more here. Costs are going down as we produce more. Our costs are going down as we produce more of this good. So we know we're in the economies of scale section. We would just explain it like that also. We would say that the long run average total cost falls as we produce more output. Uh, as the long run average total cost falls, we produce more output. Costs continually decrease. Uh, that was wordy, but I think you got the point. B, using the numbers from the graph, identify the price and quantity produced at which the monopolist earns zero economic profit. You need to know that zero economic is the same thing as where price equals ATC. It can also be called long run equilibrium. It's also called break even. They've called it fair return in the past also. So you might have to know that. It's also where total revenues equal total costs. It is break even. Right? So we need to know all of these different ways that they could ask that same thing. It is where price equals ATC. Here's my ATC of that price, and that quantity is break even. So it looks like the price is 15 and the quantity would be 50. Assume that regulators impose a price ceiling that results in the firm producing the socially optimal quantity. You need to know that the socially optimal quantity is also the allocatively efficient quantity. Um, it is where price equals marginal cost. To know where that is, we also have to know that your demand curve is DARP. If that's your mister, that's your DARP. That's the price. Where price and marginal cost come together, here's marginal cost, here's your price. Where they come together, that's our socially optimal quantity right there. So it looks like the price was 10, the quantity was 60. Uh, that is our SOQ. Uh, social optimal quantity, allocatively efficient point. There we go. Uh, calculate the total revenue. You should know that total revenue is just price times quantity. So $600, easy enough. Explain why the firm requires a subsidy to continue to produce in the long run. Well, right now, the price is less than the ATC. This firm is making losses. And if they keep making losses in the long run, they'll go broke. So this pretty much explains why they would need a subsidy to continue to produce is because the price is less than the ATC. They're making losses. If they don't get a subsidy. They will have to go broke and leave the industry. Um, calculate the lump sum subsidy that would be required for the monopolist to produce a socially optimal quantity. What we recognize is that to pro they're already producing this 60 units of quantity. They have a price ceiling. They're regulated. So this price ceiling right there, they're already producing um, that socially optimal quantity. What has to happen is they have to be paid to keep them in the industry. And at that 60 units, right, their cost, their average total cost is $13 a unit. They can charge $10 a unit because that's the price ceiling price. So if they can charge 13, right? Um, I'm sorry. If they can charge 10, but their cost is 13, they're $3 short. 
per unit. So what we recognize is they're losing $180 um, when they produce those 60 units. They will go broke in the long run if they don't have that money made up and that lump sum subsidy would be given to them of $180 and that would keep them operating in the long run, if that makes sense. I hope it does. All right. Be safe. Take care. Uh, I'm on Wyzant. If anybody needs any tutoring, easy enough. Just look for Charles W. Uh, see you soon. Keep working hard, guys. Be safe. Bye.